surgery performed is a, a readdressing the end of the bone because the bones end up being they're not being loaded. They're not they've sort of changed because of abnormal bone formation and muscle due to blast injury or due to soft tissue injury. That all has to be cleaned up. Once that's cleaned up, we need enough of a skin envelope to cover the implant. So the implant isn't exposed at this stage. The implant's underneath the skin. So for all intents and purposes, it looks just like someone with a baloney amp with an above knee amputation would otherwise. So we this surgery is about having a skin flap that closes easily over the implant. Not too much, not too little, just the right amount. Everything closed. No wound complication now for the next six weeks to, to eight weeks. At the six to eight week mark, there's a second surgery, very minor surgery, where we open the skin envelope, and that's the point at which the part that lives outside the body docks to the part that lives inside the body. We wait this time so that the bone ingrows to the implant we put in. It's much like a dental implant or like a total hip. We put an implant, the bone grows into it. Once we have that living interface between the implant and the bone, that's what potentially is the barrier to infection going deep. It's also the, the living interface between the the Darth Vader, like you know, the robot leg that they're going to have, and their own skeleton, and that—that's what's missing in conventional amputations. Is there's no direct connection to the person's skeleton. We, we think that that there's some proprioceptive feedback, some vibration sense in the bone that goes to your brain at a deep level that helps people cope with not having a limb. Gives you some of that. You can close your eyes and know where your hand is in space. When you have a socket, it's like having a really, imagine, most people ski around here, imagine having a really loose ski boot and then trying to go ski, right? So it's hard to get the boot tight enough on the residual limb so that you can have this sort of high level function. So what we're trying to do is really make the boot intimate to your body. So that's, that's the, that, that is the goal. For us, I mean, I think we have uh, a unique interest in, in helping our wounded warriors and veterans. Uh, we both uh, have chosen to work here at the VA hospital and, uh, and uh, so professionally it's, it's par for the course but it is, it is rewarding just like every day of what we do is rewarding.